Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> We're going to go wheel uh, Kevin and myself. So if you remember, Kevin is actually one of the gentlemen that helped me, rescued me off the mountain. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that one. But he rescued me off the mountain and had his pass. And we, him and I, are going to be going to Kings River in uh, just past Sutton, Alaska. And we're going to go all the way to the top in theory, or to the end of the trail. I have no idea. I've never been. Um, I've been to Ruby Lake. You can check out that video. But uh, Kings River, I guess, is a little bit longer. And um, it, it, the beginning of that trail is the same, and then it branches off and keeps going. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy the content. Let's do this. Chevron and getting some gas. Kevin's gonna show me the ropes of this trail. Oh, it's a fun one. Yeah, it should be awesome. Hopefully nothing breaks. Hopefully everything goes well, but hopefully we have some fun. Maybe get stuck, who knows? <laughs> it's gonna be a blast no matter what. There we go, I love it. Kevin's gonna follow me to the trail head and then he's going to lead us on in from there should be some good times happening today he was showing me some videos and i think it'll be a good challenge for renegade good proving ground and i think we'll make it there's just one spot that might be a little sketchy but you'll probably figure out where that is but i think we'll make it i think it'll be a great day some epic views coming stay tuned Looks like it just might be raining out there. That'll be fantastic. Make it fun. So Kevin, yes, what do you air down to? 15. 15. How, what are you using to do that? Just some little valves. Nice. Nice. Preset. It's fantastic. Where did you get those from? Amazon. Oh, that's genius. <laughs> they got everything these days. <laughs> I think I figured out my next investment. He's already done with all four, and I've done two. And he was like done like a minute ago. So those things seem to be like the trick when you're airing down. <laughs> they, they definitely work well. Yeah. All right, we're heading down the trail. We're just 
chatting for a little bit. He's telling me about what he's done to his rig. It's pretty rad. Okay. We're going to put it in first gear with the four wheel drive on. And let's hope we don't hit nothing. Big deal for the Jeep.
This is what we're looking at here. Not too shabby. Once I had a little bit of momentum, then even with the normal four wheel drive, made it up. Wet, slippery rocks with some rock faces. I'm glad it made it. Well, after that little display of struggle on that rock due to the lack of momentum, um, he says I might have a little bit of trouble getting up house rock is what he called it. So we'll see, I guess. Okay, so Kevin just told me he thinks House Rock will be my downfall. So Kevin, if you're watching this, I'm gonna give it my best. I wanna, I wanna get to the top. We gotta get to the top. This is the ultimate test <laughs> for Honda Ridline. It's gonna be good. So let's, we can do it, man. I have faith. Renegade can do it. So Kevin showed me this view over here. I wanted to show you guys how awesome this is. This is a great view so far. I think Kevin's a little impressed that I'm making it. <laughs> he can't know until he watches the movie or the video. <laughs> Check this view out though. This is pretty epic. This is when you need a drone. Wow. While Kevin's finishing his breakfast burrito, <laughs> we're gonna go look at this and see if it's even possible. Because there's two ways, there's the bypass and the, f the real trail. We'll see what we can do here. contact here but this part would be pretty cool right here looking from here it doesn't look very intense at all yeah this will be sweet so this is actually the bypass I guess over here which it just kind of skirts around us I guess Makes it real, real simple, real easy. But this is Frog Pond. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Frog Pond. It's a pretty sweet place too. Yeah, it's so beautiful. All right. So what I'm cooking today is going to be some beef stew. It is beef with country vegetables. And then I'm going to have that with some bread and smart balanced butter. This sh this is amazing stuff right here. It's delicious. So we're gonna get that cooking, eat lunch. We're at Frog Pond right now, and then we're gonna keep heading out. Sweet. All right. All right, just finished lunch. Feels very good to have some food. Now we're gonna get some footage of 
Kevin. Coming up. Drag your foot on the brake. Smell that. What are you smelling? Break. spinning the wheels and all that but it was right when it would kick in that I would I would lose it right so that was a little bit frustrating but we're gonna go up the easier side over here because we don't have the I don't have the approach angle yeah that's pretty steep sweet this side steeper or less steep Thing is coming out of this might have an issue What a sad day. It is gonna have to be called at this obstacle. After going down that hill, the noise came back. And so we're gonna call it because we don't want him to get stuck out here or us to get stuck out here. So he is going to come up the easy way or the bypass, come back up that, and we're gonna start heading back. We made it uh, to Frog Pond essentially. Didn't quite make it as far as I was hoping, but maybe another day. I'm still pretty impressed that it made it this far um, up the obstacles that it did. So I have, we have had a good day and hopefully nothing's broken, but yeah, hopefully everything's okay with this rig.
just got to make sure this gets out under its own power. That's the goal now. So, appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, subscribe. Renegades claimed another victim. <laughs> got to take that off there. Check the fluids. Okay, so the verdict is, you see it, significantly low on fluid. Very low on fluid. So, we are going to go back slowly so that he is not risking it. Man, my brakes are terrible. It's a good thing we're gonna go to O'Reilly's, get him some fluid, fill it up. I'm gonna get my brake pads, and then we're gonna go our separate ways, but let's just get out of here and make it back one piece appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next round hopefully we'll make it next time but i don't know if i'll be up here until next spring because i got a, got my trip down the pony express and all of that here in october which is a few weeks away and i got to get my power steering rack replaced gotta get my brakes done get it aligned and get everything ready to go so I don't know. Maybe there'll be another adventure before I leave. Maybe not. But you'll see a couple other videos for sure. All right, guys. We'll see you. found well Kevin found on our way out Kevin found this nice screw in my tire I'm really hoping she can see my brakes but it's not all the way through but I do have a plug kit apparently I left my plug kit at home so we're gonna go until it needs to be changed hopefully we make it to the parking lot then I can change it It'll be a lot easier but uh man this trip is just rocking us this time but so be it i wonder how long it's actually been in there though <laughs> well i got it repaired it is plugged i should have recorded but this was the screw that was in there i don't know when i got it but it was airtight so i'm really glad we did not pull that out on the trail because that would have definitely uh man that would have sucked so got that out Got the repair kit from O'Reilly's because I wasn't going to drive all the way back home to get mine. Plus, you can never have too much of that. <laughs> so got that repaired, all done. And as long as that holds, the tire should be solid. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, I think these guys were following us out there.